most of the time, a trench box is the fastest, easiest way to protect your workers in an excavation. Let's take a look at some of the features of our standard steel trench box. It's important to remember that a trench box is a shield. It's designed to protect workers in the event of a soil collapse. It's not a shoring product. Shoring is designed to hold back soil to prevent the collapse in the first place. This particular trench box is designed to protect workers in an eight foot deep excavation. It has three foot wide spreaders. A trench box of this size would be very typical of one you'd use for a simple water line installation. Let's take a look at some of the key factors in the safe use of this trench box. First, you want to make sure you have a box of the right dimensions. As I said, this box is designed to protect workers in an eight foot deep excavation. OSHA will allow you to overdig the excavation up to two feet below the bottom of your box, but only if soil conditions will allow for it. You also want to make sure that all four of your spreader assemblies are properly attached to the collars on the box. Each one of these spreaders has to have this pin in place. The pin is what takes the load of the panels of the box. And you also are required to have this keeper pin in place on all four of your pins. Finally, all trench boxes rented from Maybe Inc. come with this certification sheet. This sheet is matched to the serial numbers of the trench box. It shows the depth ratings for the trench box and also comes with installation instructions. It's an OSHA requirement that this search sheet be on the job site when this box is in 